So we got to get our acceleration here. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing a 2022 BMW X6 M50i. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the BMW of Pleasant Grove, Utah, for giving me some time with this X6. This one is available for sale right now if you're interested. And something that I love about the BMW of Pleasant Grove, Utah, is they do not charge over MSRP for any of their vehicles. So if you want a great deal on a new BMW, definitely check them out. And then, as always, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. It is good for 523 horsepower and then 553 pound feet of torque, which gives this a zero to 60 time of just 3.8 seconds, which is crazy. Now something that I love is we've got the carbon fiber print with the M performance logo, but notice how we have eight little things on either side to represent that this has eight cylinders because it's a V8. Anyways, there you go. Now let's go over the front end of this X6. First off, I absolutely love the color on this X6. It just looks super crazy and it just works with all of the contrast. Anyways, you guys can see here, we've got the prominent lines on the hood. BMW logo front and center. And then we have BMW's LED laser headlamps, which look super distinctive with the daytime running lights. And notice little blue pieces there inside of the lights. And of course it says BMW laser there on the side. We've got BMW signature kidney grill here, which has been all blacked out. Notice we've got a front camera there. Parking sensors here on the front. We also have fog lights. And then you guys can see just all of the venting. Looks crazy and yeah, really good looking car. So coming around the side here, we've got 275 millimeter tires wrapped around 22 inch wheels in the front and then 315 millimeter tires wrapped around 22 inch wheels there in the back. And then if we go over the design of the wheel, well, it's all blacked out first and foremost, tons of spokes. We've got a little M logo right there. And notice we've got the big red brake caliper with more M colors on it. Looks really cool. I love how the fender flare has been body painted. And then look at that little accent piece right there. And notice that body line continues all along the side. And if we take a few steps back, notice all the trim around the windows has been blacked out. And we have that signature X6 appearance here on the side because it kind of slopes down there in the rear. So here is the key fob for the X6. And you guys can see, well, it's BMW's normal key fob. So you got the unlock, the lock function, which has the BMW logo, and then the opening here for the hatch. Press that, and then it'll pop right open. Notice that we do have a cargo cover already built in. It says X6. And look at that, we got all of our uh, floor mats back here. But notice here with the metallic plaques on either side, which I think look great. And then if we push these back, you guys can see here with the spare tire underneath and yeah plenty of storage space down the back when you're done you can lock it or you can press this and that'll just lower it down there you go now finishing things up with the rear you guys can see we have our m50i badge here and our x6 badge i love kind of like the finish on the badges and then we've got our super aggressive exhaust tip covers and exhaust tips themselves let me stick the camera in here so you guys can see the exhaust tips there we go. Hopefully you can kind of see something there. There's two on either side. Parking sensors here on the bottom. I love how this is body painted with the diffuser. I think that looks pretty cool. But anyways, there is the rear end. Now popping inside, this is where things get real fancy. So first off, you can see we've got our sunshade here for the back passengers. Beautiful leather here at the top. Notice how we have this two-tone design where it's black here at the top and then red down below. And then you can see the contrasted stitching. Got the Bowers & Wilkins sound system. Look how nice the speakers are. And we've got this carbon fiber trim right there. And then here are these seats again with that red leather. Looks fantastic. Now popping in, it's really easy to get in. You pretty much just slide right across. There's your legroom. There's your headroom. Notice we got the USBs. This whole setup right here. And then we do have some behind the seat storage. Got some vents here for the rear passengers. Heated seats. Got our own climate zone as well. And then, finishing things up, you guys can see here with the center console. And we have the whole over engineered coupler situation, which, you know, I think is pretty uh, funny. Anyways, let's head to the front. 
Now here's the front door panel, same thing with this beautiful black leather at the top and then the red leather down below. We've got all of our window controls right here with the mirror adjustments, the mirrors do power fold in. They also have blind spot monitoring. And then you can see here for the hatch to open and close it. And then notice here for the seats, we'll go over that stuff a little bit later, but we do have memory seats. And then notice here for the front seats, you can see again with the perforated leather, looks fantastic, look at the padding on it. And then we've got a bunch of adjustments here on the side. Now it says M50i right there. And then we have the pedal layout down below. We've got all of our light controls and then more carbon fiber and look at the leather on the dash. Steering wheel is power adjustable. Let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel for the X6. You guys can see really nice leather all around, including the airbag cover. We've got our heated steering wheel button here on the steering wheel, which is really nice. Got some practical controls for like the phone, voice command controls, nice paddle shifters here on the back for the eight speed automatic. This does have adaptive cruise control as well as steering assistance. And then we have a regular turn signal stock, windshield wiper stock, and there you go. Now you guys can see here with the center gauge coaster, we have BMW's modern digital dash, which I think looks fantastic. And the cool party trick about this is when you change drive modes, it actually changes the appearance. So right now we're in adaptive. And if we go to Eco Pro, notice how it changes. Then we go to comfort, changes again. And then if we go to our sport plus, it changes yet again. And then you have a sport individual and then a regular sport mode as well. And yeah, there is the center gauge cluster. Now, what do those three green lights mean? That means I'm getting a massage here on the X6, which is pretty cool. Now, popping over here to the center, we're gonna pop into reverse. We've got our camera system here. Notice we got a backup camera with trajectory lines that turns the steering wheel, and we got our bird's eye view as well. And then if I go from uh, reverse to drive, you guys can see that the camera stays on, so it actually kind of lets me know what's happening, but it also labels that so you guys can see it says rear camera there. Um, overall, really good camera system since it has a full 360 camera system. Resolution's fantastic on it, definitely like it. Now, going from that to the rest of the infotainment system, this is BMW's modern infotainment system uh, in their newer cars. So basically, you guys can see a shortcut bar here on the side. You've got this main screen, which has really good response time. It'll let you know stuff like fuel economy. You can see what this car has been averaging, for example. And yeah, overall, really user-friendly. I think it's nicely integrated here into the dash, and there you go. Speaking of dash, beautiful leather here covering the dash. Look at all the stitching and everything. And then down below, you can see here with the carbon fiber that goes across, and you can see the ambient lighting too, the top of that carbon fiber. And then notice here, you've got this little shortcut button for the safety tech, dual zone climate controls. This has heated and cooled seats. And then you've got all of your presets down here, which you can just hover your finger over just like other BMW models. And we have this cool carbon fiber panel that reveals a bunch of stuff, including a wireless phone charger, You've got your USB port right here, and then you guys can see cup holders with the 12 volt, and then you just pull that back into place when you're done. And then you guys can probably see the ambient lighting there off to the side. Shifter for that eight speed automatic transmission. It's the cool crystal shifter, and same thing with the dial. Now this is your analog control for the infotainment system. If you don't want to use the touch screen for some reason, they give you an analog control, which is really nice. This actually has held sand control. You got this for the parking brake, auto hold, and then these are your drive modes. Notice how they each have individual buttons. We got our engine stop start, and then you can see here with the stability control button, that's for the camera system, parking sensors, and then auto stop start. And then here is the center console. Looks great. Tons of storage space too. And then notice the handle in the glove box is really nice too. You can see the storage space there in the glove box. And last but not least, you can see here at the center, if you do have a full panoramic center, despite the coupe design, which sometimes can get in the way of that, right? Control for the center as well. And then, you know, darker colored headliner. And, well, if you want the most up-to-date pricing on this one, check out BMW of Pleasant Grove's website in the description down below. Let's take it out and drive it. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood. Hope you guys can now see the heads-up display. Both the mirrors, which do blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, let's set off. So setting off here in the X6, and I believe this is the first time I've ever driven an X6. So I'm interested to see how this drives compared to the X7 and the X5. Uh, I'm guessing this is gonna drive more similarly to the X5 though, because 
it's pretty similar in terms of the size it kind of reminds me of uh, with mercedes you've got like the gle uh, and then you've got like the regular gle and then you have the gle coupe it seems like bmw's doing the same thing here with x6 and x5 but having two different, I guess, model de designations instead of doing coupe versus SUV. Anyways, setting off, that V8 sounds so cool. I love BMW's 4.4 liter V8. And <laughs> you know, maybe that's why Range Rover is using it now is because it's such a fun engine. It sounds great. It's so torquey too. I will say this is definitely a nice experience air conditioned seat getting a massage and these seats are very comfortable uh, by the way the bolstering is perfect it does kind of like tighten around you a little bit once you get in uh, which I, I don't know if it's like if it if there's like sensors it feel but it seems like the seat like went and just tightened the perfect amount and then stopped so I again I don't know but I, I think that's pretty cool um, other stuff ride quality is really good uh, you can tell though this has definitely been tuned towards the sportier side of things in terms of an SUV uh, in terms of the ride because uh, it seems like with the shock um, what I'm kind of noticing is you have this like, initial compression point that stays pretty stiff and then once you get past that then it kind of goes in more and like this will show you guys that right here and so what that does is that's going to give this better handling um, but you might feel things a little bit more when you go over them but it, it's not like I, I mean you know, it, it's very comfortable. It's, it's not uncomfortable by any means. Okay, so we got to get our acceleration here. <laughs> wow. Well, the uh, papers flew off the dash, so I got to put those back. But man, is that quick. Let's see going over the bump in sport mode. Yeah, it definitely feels stiffer in the sport mode. It's a cool thing when you have adjustable suspension is there's actually a difference between the drive modes sounds so good though i will say that i'm actually going to go back to this format i don't hear the downshifts yeah, that's a clean sound listen to that i'll do that one more time just for uh educational purposes <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's a great sounding powertrain so just hold down the plus pedal that'll pop back into automatic pop back into comfort um, the thing I love about BMW is it's so easy to change like from automatic to manual, the drive modes, all that. Like it's so straightforward, especially compared to some of the competition where you got crazy dials and everything you have to twist through. I really like how user friendly this is. But yeah, let's sum things up here with the X6. Uh, so first off, styling. Um, you know, for me personally, I prefer the styling of the X5 because I just like SUV styling. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the coupe SUVs personally. But if you like coupe SUV styling, that's what this has. Um, I, I guess maybe like there's part of me that's like obsessed with practicality. And like, since this has like a slightly shorter roof line in the back, it's not as practical as like a regular SUV. So I'm like, regular SUV looks better because it's more practical. That's probably what it is, honestly. Um, but it drives great. Uh, this M50i is definitely the sweet spot. And that's kind of what I found here with the uh, BMWs is it seems like the, uh, you know, M, M Sport cars, right? Not the full on M cars is the route to go because you still get a very nice, luxurious, comfortable experience and you still get tons of performance too. Whereas with like a full on M car, you give up a little bit of luxury for the performance, but this is more than enough. Like this is such a blast to drive and I'm getting a massage at the same time. Like what more could you ask for? This is such a solid uh, offering so let me know what you guys think about the x6 i think it's i think it's awesome in terms of coupe suvs that's because something's up for our video on this 2022 bmw x6 m50i again a huge shout out thank you to the bmw of pleasant grove utah for giving me some time with this x6 check out the m in the description down below i'll see you guys